I forgot everything I was going to say. Let's end the talk show. So, Texie, oh. you going to talk? Oh. <laughs> well, I think I got something that'll change your mind. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right, all right. Here's a hypothetical for you. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Tim and Tex Talk Show. You want to see my shirt? I just got a new shirt. Uh, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll see it right now. I mean, you won't. I have to stand up. That's why I'm asking right, for, I'm ready asking for cons up. consent. Wait, hold on. Don't stand up yet. Just better not mod chat settings. Okay, smoke, weed, and game. It's swag, bro. Huh? Swag. S-W-A-G. -S smoke, weed, and game. <laughs> Is, is, is that a mother approved shirt? Has your mom seen that? <laughs> it just came in the mail today. Where did you get just it? Just like these nuts. Uh, I got it from the Super Mega merch store from their 420 sale. Tex. <laughs> your mom is going to be disappointed in you. Dude, I don't know how I get this shirt washed without my mother seeing it. You don't, is the answer. Yeah, you're probably right. It's unfortunate. I fixed my curly hair today. It's really yeah. flapping in the wind. Well, it's a talk show, bird. Just fucking listen. Huh? It's a talk show, bird. You don't need 1080p. Dude, I gotta fix this fucking gap in my hair. I gotta get a haircut. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, no sneeze. Achoo. I had a sneeze, like, queued up, and then I did some, like, uh, Naruto hand motions and it went away. Dude, did you just turn a light on solely on your forehead? <laughs> Good lord, you got a shiner all over. You also just look really short. That's We're both yawning not, at the same that's time. not any better. Hold on, let me do this. You might want to, yeah, blind it up. Do get that. The, get the booby then... cam going. <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. Hey, that's like a bright room, kind of. Yeah. Were we yawning at the same time? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Could you see? I <laughs> thought you couldn't watch when it's 1080p, Bird. Yeah, dude. What are you doing? When about? will the lies end? <sighs> Who knows? All right. Hey, how's that look? You look good. All right. Good, good too. Well, this this will definitely come across on. Oh wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. Don't open it. Yet. Don't open it. Yet. Okay. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. I didn't know this was true. You might not be able to hear mine on uh, Discord, but. I'll see if I can turn off the uh, noise suppression. There we go. I don't know if you hear it on Discord. I just need the stream to hear it for us. Oh, stream will hear it, dude. This thing picks up like a mother. I don't even think I can click without it hearing. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I did not hear it on oh, Discord. Dude, I peaked my mic. <laughs> <laughs> it was so... It was full red. Oh, what flavor did you get? Wait, black cherry truly? Stop black. Oh, no, mine's passion fruit. Bro, get get the fuck out of here. I don't have truly's. I literally just picked one out of a random box, and it was a Corona seltzer. Oh, oh, Corona seltzer. Okay, whatever. It's a uh, marahuya or passion fruit. Marahuda. M a r a c u y a. Maruchia. Maruchia. I don't see a CH, but sure. I got that Gorilla Grip Maruchia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I replied to you saying I saw that one, but I did see yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Are we drinking at 5 p.m.? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I had a long day at work, okay? Your, your last day at work for the week. Yes, thank God, but I get to come in at 6.30 on Monday. Why? Because we're out of boxes, so everybody has to come in to make them, because we're out of box supplies. Oh, I was like, why didn't you just make them today? Because <laughs> we don't have them. I, I see that. Now. We don't have any mayonnaise, and we don't have any, like, physical boxes left. I mean, you guys had, like, really busy days. Yes. I, I don't know why we didn't, your dad didn't have us come in early today, too, because we were, dude, it was a shit show. It was almost a shit show. Yeah, but they had you there, so they helped. Yeah, out. dude, I, 
I was on time to my delivery. I'm never on time. I'm always 15 minutes early, which is what your dad taught me. And I had to be on time today. That's how late we were running. Oh, my goodness. How could they do that? Uh, well, we have a new guy, Tim. Oh, yeah. Tell me about Tim. Tim is, dude, I don't know how old he is, but he's got 19-year-old twin girls, and he's got some grays. Okay. But he started working here at Apple Spice at, like, my level position, I guess. Mm-hmm. Not sure why. I don't really know his story too well. But uh okay. he's yeah, an wait. interesting guy. He's kinda <laughs> he's kinda like I don't wanna I don't wanna be mean. But he Go. might be a little socially inept. Okay. Well give me like is there a story that goes along with this hatred? I don't hate him. He's actually really <laughs> nice. Like he's super nice. He's just kinda dumb. Is there a story what, what was the word I used? Dopey. Hatred? He's he's kinda dopey. <laughs> um so <laughs> we were like busy and i was trying to think of something like i had him come up to help with sandwiches but there was like no room for him so i was like oh can you just hand me an avocado and he's like what and i'm like an avocado can you hand me an avocado he turns around and he picks up a single strip of red pepper and i'm like an avocado <laughs> And he's like oh my bad turns around again and hands me a single apple slice and I was just like, I can't correct him again. So I just took the apple slice, waited for him to leave, and then had to get my own avocado. <laughs> Do my parents know that he doesn't know what an avocado is? <laughs> Maybe he didn't hear job. with the mask, yeah. but like... His first job was being a full-time father to 19-year-old twins. Yeah. That he adopted. Who are going to Grand Valley State, actually. After going to CC, just like me, which is kind of weird. Is English his first language? Yeah, he's, a, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a white guy. He is a white man. <laughs> named Tim. <laughs> he he, he talked like this, but... <laughs> <laughs> we, did have, oh, we did have an Indian woman actually training with us, because she's opening an apple spice in Detroit. I know. Yeah, she's super nice. Did you say an Indian woman? Yeah. Oh, okay. What? What did your parents call her? They didn't. I just didn't oh. know the ethnicity, so I just mm -hmm. wanted to mm -hmm. clarify that. Um, yep, today was yeah, her last I know day. She she's opening it up. Uh, she's been doing it for a while, but the pandemic really slowed her down. Yeah. She said she was going to cha the Chamber of Commerce this weekend. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Also, just go, like... Uh, that <laughs> Brett was the only one putting sandwiches in boxes, expediting. And when he got back from his delivery, he was just like awkwardly like talking to brett like just kind of hovering around him and brett's just like slamming these sandwiches because my order has to go out like now yeah 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 and he's just like hoovering and brett's just like look i don't know man you just gotta give me a second <laughs> but like it, it is his second day yeah and just kind yeah. of a shit show of a day but, yeah like, i could feel that like couldn't... not knowing what to do and just yeah. trying to be like somewhere yeah. But, like, maybe some, someone should teach him about avocados. I mean, yeah. And also, I was talking to Andy's like, what do you think of Tim? And I was like, uh, and he's like, you can be mean. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently. Are you to Andy? Oh, uh -huh. Andy. Yeah. yeah, Andy at work. Andy was like, <laughs> telling me that he didn't know the difference between Havarti and Swiss. <laughs> this man's got to get one of those matching sheets. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, all right, it, it's just ham, Havarti, and lettuce. And he's like, okay. And he just starts, like, putting Swiss and Havarti. <laughs> he's just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, God. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yes. It... That's funny right there. <laughs> it's all right. Dude, you know, who knows, but maybe he'll be, like, a protege at, like, making sandwiches, though. As soon as, like, he gets it figured out, mm -hmm. like, he'll just be the fastest sandwich maker in the West. He could be. Probably not dishes, though. He's slow as fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Andy was getting a, Andy was getting on tilt because like he's stressing about moving because he moved, and he's oh, just yeah, going yeah. so slow. Then you guys have labels for all the food. Everybody uh, knows what Swiss cheese looks like. <laughs> Come on, well, you can't work Swiss in a same smaller holes. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. No, we do not have the food labeled where it says avocado in front of the avocado. <laughs> they just look like avocados. We have all the sandwiches labeled. Like, we have, yeah. like, 
and they're like picture diagrams. Yes, it is pretty hard to mess them up. Like yet, if you I still find that ways. Among Us map uh, where it asks you to make the burger. They look like that. It's Havarti with an H, <laughs> not Pavarti. Oh, Pavarti is Havarti. Like, you know, right? Pavarti? No, that's uh, Parmesan. No, nah, Pavarti, Pavarti, Pavarti. Pavarti? No, nah, that's a character from uh, Lord of the Rings. Pavarti? Yeah, hold on, let me look her up. Oh, Pavarti's the girl that gives the hand job in the jail cell. Yeah. What, did you Google light? Because your face fucking oh, like. I Google. <laughs> hey, let me send this to you. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Pavarti Patil. Pavarti. <laughs> Harry Potter? <laughs> you sent me a link to your poor spelling on Google? <laughs> but, I mean, you are right that she is a character in Harry Potter. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, my but, mistake. Yeah. Well, you Googled Harry Potter and it came up with Lord of the Rings. Well, you Googled Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Porter? Harry Porter. Dude, my favorite make, drink. Can we make a, when we make our bar? Yeah. And maybe all, like, nerd puns, so, like, one of our beers will be called a Harry Porter. Well, then we're catering to two audiences. If we do, if we do shot for shot night, no nerd is going to be carrying around forty-five shot shells. You know, like oh, the forty-five, that's... give a forty-five, get a shot. Yeah. On our western true. night. Where are we gonna? We can't like be a college bar then, because no college kids. Are gonna <laughs> no have, college kids are gonna, gonna have ammo. We Maybe sell Texas, ammo dude. outside the bar. Oh, that's good. And then handguns out the back. Where, where, what, what is the ideal location for our dream bar? Texas. Mm -hmm. I like Texas a lot. I feel like it's really like... Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> Oopsie. Who, who else would I be talking to? Uh, I don't know. Texas would probably be it. Oh, I feel like oh you thought I was saying Texas, and then you're yes. like, what? And I was uh, like, what? <laughs> yes. Yeah, like Austin. Somewhere in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> would you believe that's like the first time that's actually happened that you've confused <laughs> your name with the state uh i guess it happened one time at steak and shake when some woman ordered the texas steak burger <laughs> and I, oh and you were like yes and she was like can i get the texas i was like what but this was like a saturday after camp wyoming wyoming could like also be good calling you a steak burger yeah it's like Pfft. all right a little steak burger yeah, you know it, Grandma. She was old. Yeah. Ah, dude, you know what song? I was listening to the Green Day Radio on Spotify. Yeah. And you know what song that I'm not sure fits in the Green Day Radio category, but came on and I was jamming to it? Uh... It's an uh, old I didn't even know the name of it. I only knew... The, I only remember the chorus. Uh... Um, hold on. Uh, Chris Tonight by no, Three Doors no, Down. No, no, no. That would fit into the Green Day spot radio. Okay, well, that's my guess. Uh, it, what is it? It's called, like, The Bad Touch. Okay. And it's, it's the one that's like, You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I think you showed me that song. Did I? Dude. Maybe yeah, in middle like a, school. Well, it only sounds familiar because of the way you said it. Not really? Well, that's how they yeah. say it in the song, so. Yeah. Like, that, vo that candor, if you will, mm -hmm. is the correct one. Yeah. Mm hmm So, Austin yeah your me? dog sitting i am yeah. dog sitting yeah tell me about the dogs don't ask me the breed because i don't know <laughs> okay uh let's see if you can the, their age? let's see if you can guess the breed well i have a picture of the dogs of a dog <laughs> is it the dogs uh it's, you sent me the photo don't make it sound like i sneakily took a photo did I? oh yeah i did yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Bloodhound no, gang? No, nah, dude. They're like wimpy dogs. No, no, it's it's not. It's like uh it's definitely a mixed breed uh snub tail dogs. You probably heard looks... all that fucking It's got like really like hairy long ears and it's curly like, hair. 
It almost looks like it's a Dalmatian mixed with like a Yorkie Oh, here it is. Poodle. Uh, this is the exact dog. What is it? Springer Spaniel. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. There are like two that. Springer Spaniels. Um, how old? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I minimized Discord, so you're frozen on that cheeky smile of yours. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Name of the band who sings Bad Touch? Bloodhound Gang? You're right. But we were also talking about dogs, so it fit in two ways in the conversation. Well, one way it fit incorrectly, but the second way it worked. Yeah. Um, I don't know how old they are. Stella and Hazel. Hazel is older and gets to eat first, and Stella sits and watches Hazel eat, and then it's Stella's turn. Nice. I also I let them bowls. out. Nope. They have two bowls, food and water. Oh, but they share. <laughs> yes. Okay. Which is kind of odd, but whatever uh i let them outside and then hazel went and started throwing up so that was cool <laughs> mm -hmm. uh yep and then hazel snuck back outside after chilling on the couch for a minute and then was like whining when it was her turn to eat and i was like where are you then i look and i hear <laughs> give, me, give me food my cat's oh. also named hazel so it was very confusing for me i know I had a hard this, time. Uh, next cohort, this one was named Stella. Really? Yeah. The one that uh, the one that took you to her house at one a.m. and then told her told you she had a boyfriend. Nah, that was some chick at the bar who gave me her number. Was it? Oh yeah. yeah. Who was the what was the coworker thing? At uh, no coworker thing. pretzels. Wetzels. Ah, oh, dude, no, that's too much to get into on here. <laughs> that's a private session. Oh, God. You got to pay for the Patreon for that. That's the Patreon session. All right. No, the long and short of that is just like, uh, I don't use like a real name. But I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Well, it kind of matters. Like, I'll just, like, I mean, we set her workplace, so. But. <laughs> <laughs> Burns Anyways, already this, on Google. This coworker I like worked with had a really big crush on me, and like everybody told me she didn't. I was like, I don't like her at all and i've also never been giving her like any signals or at least what i didn't think was giving her any signals like i was just like you nice were just kissing her. her in the back yeah no, slapping her butt every time she her bent a, over to get a pretzel giving her a over the pants handy at, <laughs> at lunch foot job with the grippy socks you know how it is yeah and she like out of the blue asks me like hey i'm going to like this cabin with my parents in two months for like a week do you want to come with me and i was like i don't know what i'm doing in two months and she's like oh, all right yeah just like let me know and i was like yeah just don't like no. and i just like never brought it up again <laughs> oh. and then i just like quit before that time came. <laughs> was and that the reason like, you quit uh, not because of her just because like i didn't like working in the mall wetzel's pretzels and i got a job working at applebee's who coincidentally is where i worked with stella at yeah <laughs> wow uh and double I got the number of the girl who told me she had a boyfriend wow <laughs> very cool. uh but anyways and then like before i left she left me this like really heartfelt note she's like i just want you to know like i really like you like if you feel the same and i just like i threw the note away <laughs> really and showed her how you and felt then did you wait me, and i opened the snapchat and i and it was like kind of the same thing as the note and i just like didn't respond and I have since deleted that Snapchat and started a new one. Timmy so. the Heartbreaker. I didn't know about this. Uh, did you did you throw the note away at the work trash place so that she saw I did not, it crumpled I did not. up? I actually don't even know if I threw it away. I might have just left it in the locker when I left. So it might like have just still been there. Dude. When are we starting the double trouble bathtub stream? Again, you guys are asking for Patreon related content. Yeah, come on now. Along with the nude calendar. <laughs> Semi nude calendar, my mistake. Semi nude, tasteful Semi -nude. nude, tasteful nude calendar. <laughs> what if we got our semi nude calendar in like a mall kiosk? I feel like I would have made it at that point. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I genuinely like if we get the Patreon support. I genuinely want to make a semi nude tasteful calendar with themes for each month. I will probably never show it to my... I probably would show it to my... I'd be like, Mom, look what I did. Tex, I already have a semi-nude calendar of you. Yeah, but like, one that has my body in it. Not just my <laughs> I face. I don't need your body, I don't need your face. <laughs> I have a limited edition Texan. Surprised Maddie didn't make you throw that away. Uh, you know, I hate it from her. It's... <laughs> it still shocks me that your, co your roommates found, like dug up my social media, <laughs> printed out pictures of my face... 
put it on a calendar. They're like, is this a violation of his privacy? And they're like, probably. You're still doing it. I mean, I'm not going to knock him for it. Yeah. Okay, but actually, hot tub stream potentially inbound from Colorado. <laughs> oh, that is true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. If yeah. We get a place if we get tub, we will an Airbnb with a hot tub. Live It'll be <laughs> It'll be you, me, fats, and spam. In a hot tub. In a hot tub. <laughs> and like no offense to like us, but like we're not like you know, we're not cream we're not a dog. We're not like yeah. Yeah, we're not ripped. So it's just gonna be like the most average looking dudes in a hot tub. I think it's gonna be I think dude, I think if we line up like me, you, fats, then spam, it could be like a <laughs> Like a crescendo. I mean, like, no offense, but, like, clearly I am, like, I'm, like, 130. So. Yeah. None of you are yeah, Arnold. I don't think I'll ever be Arnold Schwarzenegger in my life. I don't have I've the dedication. No, yeah, absolutely not. So. I just want washboard abs and biceps big enough to break an egg. For the cruise. Ah, true. Oh, I was gonna, so that works perfectly into my hypothetical. <laughs> oh, great. Literally exactly what I was going to ask you. And we did not plan this. I just thought of this hypothetical, <laughs> like, as we were talking. I was like, oh, this is what we'll end it with. But we don't have to end it here. I just, yeah. Uh, would you rather be able to crush a watermelon between your thighs or crush an egg between your biceps? Okay. No, I'm kind of sad you brought it up. Because you've seen the video where it's just like, you don't actually, like, need biceps to crush the egg. It's just like... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that but, like, thin chick, like, does it. Yeah, but, like, do but it's it, way but, harder. But, like, do it by like, just action. flexing. Yeah. Um I don't know, man. I like I like my semi-tight jeans, not going to lie. So yeah. I feel like thick th thunder thighs as cool as that is on women is not as cool on men. Maybe if yeah. my vertical like went up 8 inches, that'd be pretty cool. Cuz your thighs are just so big. You got all Yeah, the and then I could dunk on LeBron finally. <laughs> dude there's been so much and like i'm not saying this is like right at all but so many comments that have been like it should have been lebron instead of kobe and i'm like wow <laughs> people are like like i don't really agree with like lebron ideologically ideologically but like i don't think he should have died in the helicopter crash yeah, like, dude. <laughs> sorry not to get like dark um, on the TNT talk yeah. show but it should have been lebron like, Jeez, man. It's my kind of people. I've also not seen that. You don't hang out in the corners of the YouTube detection, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, Bird's like, I was the one that would be typing that. So yeah, Bird's like, where is that? I need to support that with all my might. Give it a like right now. Donate to their Patreon. Donate to the It Should Have Been LeBron Fund. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, uh, a uh, Buy LeBron a Helicopter Kickstarter. Oh, is there really? Yeah, I think so. What's I don't that? know if it's a meme, but I've definitely seen like a photo of it. I don't know if it's real. You looking it up? Uh, dude, a auto-filled helicopter. <laughs> uh, nah, dude, nah. None of this is all coming right, up. All right, that's good. That's the first good. link this is... is... <laughs> oh, on eBay. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> what? There's a there's a Los Angeles Lakers LeBron James f flying UFO ball helicopter. Ooh. on ebay for 15 dollars plus eight dollars shipping gee where's this from <laughs> la fraud shirt <laughs> that's good is it a toy helicopter uh yeah slow down and stop the ufo ball aim a household remote directly at the ufo and press power button on the remote flip the switch below the ufo ball to off after each use oh that's just instructions <laughs> i thought it was like a slogan <laughs> Uh, cool. ALG0106. Look him up on eBay. He's got a 98.6 rating. Let's tank that. <laughs> Everybody give him a one star. <laughs> LaFraud t shirt. See, I just don't care enough about LeBron to do any do anything for or against him. That's how I really get under his skin. Yeah, you just ignore him. I just ignore him. Who? It's like, uh, yeah. It's like whenever Demi Lovato does anything. If we just ignored her, she wouldn't do anything ever again. Mm hmm uh, Except Sunny with a Chance, dude. That show was actually pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I mean... Am I out of focus, dude? My camera does not like to maintain... 
retain focus. Now I'm looking sharp. There you go. <laughs> what was I going to ask you? Oh, if we did a hot tub stream. Yeah. What do you think like we could do for donations? Like donate five dollars and we'll do bleh. <laughs> Waterboard each other. <laughs> Every dollar you donate is 10 seconds we hold each other's heads <laughs> under the water. Put Spam's beard in the suction jet. <laughs> Spam said, uh, I was talking to him the other day. Oh, well, yeah? First off, I got fucking beef, and I'll tell you about this. <laughs> like, I'll tell you about this here. Uh, with Spam. Because, like, I'm not, like, a squeamish person, I don't think. Yeah. But Spam showed me When I tickled something. your toes, you didn't do anything. I know. You were asleep. But... <laughs> uh, like, I'm not... What was I going to say? I need to talk to Spam about this, and I wanted to talk to him about it, like, on Blast uh, during the... Oh, Among, Among Us? Night. Yeah, but he wasn't there. He messaged me while I was at work. Just, you know, P PM'd me, whatever they say. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was like, he's like, hey, you like comedy, right? And I was like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, have you heard of X podcast? And I was like, no, I haven't. Is it, is it called it? X podcast? No, no, no. I, okay. In fact, I can tell you exactly what it's called. Let me see. I got the messages. Uh, Your mom's house podcast. Okay. And that I said, seems, no. With the, <laughs> seems like a yeah. spam thing. I said, no, but the title sounds great. He said, I thought you might have since you're a comedy fan. I'm watching their live show right now and it's fucked up. And I'm like, what's it on? He said, I had to pay for it. I just... Uh, and then I won't tell you what he said there. Um, and then I said, I'm sorry, what the fuck? Where did you buy this? And is it actually graphic or does it censor stuff? And he's like, lol, want to see? And I was like, yeah. And so he said, hop in voice chat. So I go and I hop in our voice chat. I did see you in voice chat with Spam while I was at work. And I was like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. Probably playing Isaac. And then me being the stalker, I went on Steam on my phone. And I was like, oh, Spam's away. But he was playing Isaac last. So maybe? No, no, not playing Isaac. We were watching this podcast. And uh, he had watched two, like, up to two clips, and he's like, it's getting progressively worse. Uh, had not watched the third clip yet. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I joined it, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's Tom Segura. And I'm like, oh, this is Tom Segura's podcast. I love him. He's really funny. Um, and he's and like, behead uh, him. And do, you, do you know who he is, the comedian? Uh, he's friends with, like, Burt Kreischer, the machine. I want to say I've heard the name. Tom okay. Segura? He's just a stand-up comedian. Yeah, okay. I kind of know about him. A little bit, a uh, little bit. And I'm like, ah, oh, he's a funny guy. Perfect. I'll sit down. He's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, is this his podcast he does? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. Anything that like, he's doing, it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> like, whatever. Now, what Spam had told me that got me intrigued was he said, uh, I just watched a lady let a praying mantis eat her nipple. <laughs> and I thought, okay. They probably, like, you know, like, described it. Nah, man. I click on. It's Tom Segura. <laughs> having an interview with someone and he's just constantly being like have you seen this have you seen this and just showing the most fucked up clips ever so it is a zoomed in shot of a woman's nipple uh -huh. that has been tightly rubber banded to pierce the nip and a praying mantis with its claws hooked onto each side of her breast biting down on the nipple and it's just like making it bleed <laughs> it is off is it consensual yeah, yeah, I assume so. It's called praying mantisic or something. Uh, so I'm like, that's fucked up. But it's like a car crash, and I just couldn't look away. Mm -hmm. Um, second one. And it, but please note that I was supposed to be at work at this point, so I had you were at work. Monitor. Essentially, yeah. you were like, in I work. had this podcast up on the right hand monitor and talking to spam on the left, and it's going on like it's going whatever and then he goes have you seen this one or it, it like it uh to transitions into drilling and i was like that seems weird um and he was like yeah it's like drilling like with the guy's penis and i was like that sounds gross like, like sounding yeah oh. um and i was like couldn't really uh plan for what it was gonna be and it was just a uh, zoomed in photo of <laughs> a man's penis not oh. photo but video oh. and he has got a power drill that he is drilling into his hull and on the end it is not something soft it is it is literally just a uh phillips head bit on the end of a drill that he is drilling into his penis oh what did... <laughs> for 
way too long. Like this video is minutes long. What? And Tom Segura is showing the whole thing. <laughs> and, like, it gets like, better in like, 45 like, seconds. Far, like several inches into his penis. You got to have a wide urethra for that. Yeah. That dude, man is into it. He pulled it out and it looked like somebody blew out their asshole. <laughs> but on the other end, like it is just a hole that is left. God. And I'm like, again, this is one of the things that I just like couldn't look away from. And all these things, like, finally we get to the last bit. And this is the one that, like, legitimately I almost threw up from. Oh, like, and I'm not like a screamish. Like, the other two, I was just like, okay, like, whatever. Like, it's kind of funny. Ha ha. <laughs> Spam's loving it. I, I'm literally gagging just thinking about talking about this bit. Oh, God. Okay. Third bit we get to. I don't even remember how it got started. I look over, and he's about to show another clip. It is... It's a man squatted over another man's face. Sorry, I, I gotta, like... <laughs> I'm trying, like, not to envision it as I describe it, because it literally, like, like I got... Well, the slower you go, the more detailed the image is in my brain. I know. Squatting over another man's now face. Now it's your dad and my dad. And he begins to... Shit into the other man's mouth which does not sound as bad as it is wait Tim look up and open your mouth and I just <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly Tim, like it's that. just two girls one cup yeah it's like two girls one cup except the shit was never ending <laughs> it was a sickly yellow color oh. don't know how it was yellow it was Solid yet liquid at the same time. And uh, the part that really got me was I had to like, like I was literally doing this because I was like, if I don't do this, like like blocking out the right hand monitor, if I don't do this, I'm going to just stare at it and I'm going to throw up because I, I couldn't not look away. I had to like force myself to look away. God. Was I was doing this and I like I break it to look and like see if it's if it's finished yet. Overflowing. Ah! Overflowing this man's mouth, ah! and it's still not stopping. This man—it looked like he had someone had had like plundered up yellow pudding cups <laughs> into this man's ass, and he was shitting it all out into this other dude's mouth. Dude, it was the worst thing I'd ever. And then at that point, I was literally like, "Spam, I got, I got, I got to exit this." I had, I was so done after that point i literally told spam i was like i gotta walk around like it, it was worse than after we kissed like, i had to walk around i had to get some water and what do you mean worse took, than like, after we kissed <laughs> <laughs> and then i had to like go get some water and then i was like i got i'm just gonna like end work early and i'll come back and work later and i just took like a two-hour nap tried to sleep it off did you have a oh, dream about gosh. it thankfully not thankfully my subconscious blocked it out that's and now i'm I... telling all of you about it Thank you for describing it to me. Dude, I, I had a dream, actually, to yep. transition away from this. Please do. Please do. I had a dream <laughs> that I was a rat, and I owned an ice cream shop. All right. And I was selling ice cream, but it was weird because I was also with my little cousins buying ice cream from the rat. Okay. And, but I would like, it would like change perspectives from myself eating ice cream and the rat who was watching me eat ice cream happily mm -hmm. um were you also a rat no i was myself okay um and i was eating like some strawberry ice cream and I, like when i finished the ice cream it transitioned back to the rat and then as the rat my allergies were way worse and i mm -hmm. like as i breathed in i could like see large like pollen particles like going into my nose and i couldn't breathe and then I woke up because I couldn't breathe. And I like had my, I was like face down in my pillow. So thank goodness I was suffocating woke. yourself. I was suffocating in my in real life. And the rat in the dream saved me by having an allergic reaction. I also just like was really congested. Yeah. Probably from being face down and having all the mucus run <clears throat> forwards. Dude, imagine having allergies though. Ugh, dude, I hate it. I used to not. Like, I literally just grew up, and it was like, hey, you got allergies now. And they get worse every year. Yeah. You Next year, I'm going to be in a wheelchair, player. my doctor said. You're legally allowed. You can start parking in the handicap spot. You're legally allowed to park in the handicap spot because your allergies are so bad. You need yeah, if you to, walk too you far, need to, get Yeah, you need to get inside fast. You can't be outside for more than five minutes. It'll, uh, it'll destroy your lungs. Yeah. 
Do you think I could get away with saying that? Yeah. To somebody being like, dude, if people can get a parking spot for being like for doing nothing, like yeah, you can get one. <laughs> dude, I went to the dentist on oh, Tuesday. Oh, uh, apparently I grind my teeth. Yeah, I do too. And I keep I have noticed it a lot at work. I clench my jaw so when I'm zoned in to like doing mindless tasks, I'm like clenching my jaw and I'm like, oh, stop. My canines yeah. are like not sharp anymore. Uh huh. Mine it's are not, not either. Good. They're they're flat. Yeah. Yeah, mine are really flat. And I never noticed. I mean, I kind of noticed it, but I thought that was kind of normal. Nah. So my dentist now, says it's because I do it at night, so I had to get a mouth guard to wear at night. Do you have Do you have one? I do. I don't wear it. Have you I wore it for like? Yes, I wore it consistently for like the first six months, and then. Uh, I stopped wearing it because I went to a semester in college and then I came back and it no longer fit my jaw. So I like put it in and then I took it out like the morning after and my jaw like hurt because it had like, not like a lot, you but had, like enough you to be different. Yeah. Yeah. You and so my jaw was a different shape. And so it hurt a little bit. And then I was like, I mean, not like a little bit, like it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, and I just like was like, well, I'm not going to do that again. So I just like stopped wearing it. And I haven't like noticed, I used to grind my teeth a lot when I was younger. And I think that's when a lot of it happened. I haven't, I don't think I've been grinding my teeth as much as now because I haven't noticed like any deterioration or like any more deterioration since I've gotten it. But I don't know, maybe like in 30 years, it'll be really bad. We'll see. We, sh we should do a sleep study together. Yeah. Who grinds their teeth worse? I need to go in and like so we want to do a sleep study we would just want to make sure that we're not gay when we sleep together so if you could watch us and make sure we don't have uh premarital gay sex <laughs> then uh yeah nah so he recommended i get one of those bite spint or whatever it's called i do not know uh what do you know me? but it's like six hundred dollars what is it six hundred uh, bite spint is what he what calls it? it it's what you're describing the like mouth guard that prevents oh. you from grinding your teeth. I did not know how much it was. Yeah, dude, because we don't have dental insurance. Wait, you don't have dental insurance at all? Guess not. Oh, dude, you gotta get like at least insurance. Well, our insurance only covers like. Well, maybe our insurance just didn't cover it. I don't know. She just said yeah, it's right. usually free with insurance. Then she came back and like, yep, it's six hundred dollars. Ooh. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure my insurance only covers like two checkups a year. That's like all I pay for. Yeah. I paid for like the lowest tier of dental insurance possible, and I still haven't signed up for checkups. When was your last dentist appointment? Like three years ago. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't gone in like two years until I went the other day. I didn't go, I haven't gone since I went up to Central, really. No, that's not true. It hasn't been three years. It's been like a year and a half. I have not been to the doctor in a while. Yeah. I need I'm, to go get a physical. I'm, the last physical I got was before camp in 2018. Yeah, honestly, yeah, me too. Uh, well, I guess I went last year, but that was just to get a flu strep throat test. Ew. Yeah, because I, like, you remember that week I couldn't talk? Yes. That sucked. I legit, That's like, <laughs> I got on Discord with Lucas one night to watch something. Like, on my phone in bed, and he was like, hey, and I was like, hey. Uh, <laughs> i just like made a noise and he's like oh my god <laughs> did you have strep throat no i had they said i didn't have strep but i had some virus they did not elaborate nice covid man so, you had COVID i mean COVID existed. that's what i always think but i'm like wouldn't they have told me because it was like when covid was big in china but not big in the u.s yet did we have good testing for it though i don't know I mean, they said some virus, right? I mean, sure. They have to tell me, legally. That they, legally. Are, they are legally bound to tell me how big my penis is. Maybe you were patient zero in the U.S. Dude, ever since I came back from China, after that delicious soup I had. <laughs> <laughs> the meat was uh, especially tender. <laughs> I heard it barking in the back. Yes. It was squeaking. It was weird, yeah, dude. They just like they were freaking out because there was this bat in the store, and I like clapped it with my hands, and I was like, "Oh, what do you want me to do with this?" And he was like, "Oh, just give it to the chef. He'll take care of it." And I gave it to him. 
<laughs> and then they served me soup. And then they great. served you soup. Yeah, my day trip to China. <laughs> Spent more time on the plane than on the ground. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's a long flight to China. I've not been What's on the... it. Yeah, it's like how many hours is it? Dude, it's like I want to say it's like eight hours. You know where else is a long flight? Colorado? Denver, yeah. Denver? Not really. It's not that long. It's, it's not hours. that long. Yeah. Flying back, dude? You like it's an hour. Technically. No, flying there is like an hour. No. When we're flying into the time, Tim. Yes. So I it's know. an extra hour. No. Yes. Dude, I literally dude. flew there in October. <laughs> Dude, when we fly into Denver, it is Denver going to is be behind us by two hours. Correct. Yes. So when we fly into Denver, we're only going God, to have gone so up right. by you're, one hour. You're right. You're right. You're right. But okay, why on the flight plan was it showing the opposite? It it doesn't. I dude, I swear to God, it had like an hour flight back. I'm pulling up the ticket right now. Dude, did I get reverse tickets? You got it from Denver to GR. Dude, I gotta drive to Denver so I can fly here and then fly back. Fly back. Uh, let's see. I should have like a flagged. Flagged email? Yeah, here it is. Let's see. Let me check my email. Departing flight. Grand Rapids to Denver. Departs 710. Arrives 815. Denver right. to Grand Rapids. Departs 150. Arrives 630. Bro, aren't you so smart? Wait, eight fifty to six thirty. One fifty to six thirty. Oh, okay. I was like, bro, we fly, we fly in back in time both times. Yeah, we're going the long way around. <laughs> um, Frontier Airlines. Okay, let's double check. Grand Rapids to Denver, seven ten eight fifteen. Yes. Takeoff May twenty seventh, landing May 29th. So it's a long flight. It's a two-day flight. What's the longest flight? What do you mean? What do you, like uh, what that do you, you can take? Yeah, what do you think the longest flight is? It's got to be like a Hawaii to somewhere. Nah. Where can you go from the Hawaii airport? Does Hawaii it's probably, have... Yeah, Hawaii has to have an airport, right? It's probably from like Denver to Japan. It's probably like a direct from there. I wonder. Like you okay, can't, like, Google. like 15 hours. There aren't a lot of places you can't get to within 15 hours of flying. What's the longest? What's the longest flight? Singapore Airlines. Singapore Airlines direct flight from Singapore to Newark, New Jersey. 18 hours. There you go. 30 minutes. Which are like 9,000 miles. Business yeah, Insider yeah. documented a flight from Newark to Singapore with a business class. Uh, no, I thought it was going to say the record, but no. Just boring. Just boring. Just boring uh, stuff. Oh, this is what I was going to talk about when I brought up spam the first time. Not the other things. Your beef uh, was the squeamishness, right? Yeah, but okay. I was talking about him about other stuff, and it was mostly the trip to Colorado. Yes. And he's like, if Fats is there and we're there, oh, well, for the easiest thing to talk about right now is I was like, I don't know what we're going to do up in Springs oh. because I assumed we'd just either stay with Fats or we'd get an Airbnb. And he's like, we don't all want to stay with Fats. Like, he doesn't have a lot of room. And I was like, okay, so we'll just get yeah. an Airbnb, the three of us, mm -hmm. and meet him. And he's like, all right, yeah, that works. And he's like, but if Fats is going to come down in on Thursday and stay Thursday night, we should just like get a nice big house for the four of us. And I was Buy like, a yeah, house? I as long as it has a hot tub. Yeah, I know you want your hot tub. I do want a hot tub, dude. I want him to do the hot tub stream. Lauren Dykes got hot me tub. thinking about it. <laughs> Lauren Dykes left. I scared him off. Got me acting up in the hot tub. Oh, man. <sighs> Time for the mandatory 13 seconds of silence. I know, right? Well, Sorry, I was talking to this guy in our chat and, that doesn't send anything. Darkens Storm Unity, are... 413 followers. Plays a lot of Rocket League. He's a apparently in our chat, hasn't said anything. Storm Unity? Storm Unity, would you like to explain yourself? Account crit. Dude, he was at TwitchCon? 20, GlitchCon 2020? Wow. The GLHF My pledge. My ear is itching like a bitch right now. Oh, fuck I mean, me. What is the GLHF pledge? 
support for inclusive is. gaming communities. No clips? Oh, wait, hold on. Filter by clips. Top all. There we Ooh. go. Oops, I timed him out. Oh. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He has... Oh, no, I want to see his Twitch page. Oh, uh, he's a PlayStation streamer? Oh, interesting. That's why pull he's not one chatting, of his, one of his clips. I'm looking at this Fall Guys one right now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Clips. Uh, no clips. Oh, top seven days. Top all. Uh, I'm f I've fallen and I can't get up. Nah, that one's good. Oh no, I'm not gonna qualify. Shoot. Make sure you put it on stream though. All right, all right, hold on. Uh, I need to add a fucking uh capture for it. I need to get this off my screen. Both of you must do a push-up? Alright, alright. He's a baseball player? Oh, uh, do we have to do a push-up? Yes. Okay. Taxi, you doing your push-up? Uh, are you? I will when you do. <laughs> okay, well hold on, I got to add a uh, new source. Google. I'm gonna mute my mic because I'm typing and it's gonna be in a Are we gonna see the little behind the scenes of the OBS? Okay. Extreme. Now let's watch what clip? What clip? I don't know. Text to speech one pl one plus one equals TTS. Alright, do it. Okay. It's a Fortnite clip. Oh, the broadcast expire? It's literally nothing? You're literally dog shit? Alright. Wow. Okay, clip, Fortnite. Uh yo, here he is! I know, I didn't want to click on his face, but he, that is him. What up? Four? What up? Five? What up? Six? What He's up? a dolphins fan? He's counting? What is this from? What? Dude, what? What is he doing where he says, what up, one? <laughs> what up, <laughs> what up two? two? What up, New Twitch three? Coomer farming meta? Get the get that shit out of my screen. All right, I'm doing my push-up. All right, should we do our push-up? Uh, uh, Discord delay? Let's see if I can get the angle down. You're just going to see my ass. Fuck, me too. Ah. Uh. I'm doing more. Yeah, I don't want to just do one. I just did one. It was a good push-up, though. Yeah. I've been on push-ups in a lot, so... I feel like I'm lacking. Look at Taxi go. Now some triangle push-ups. Oh! Those are rough. Try to keep that ass up, Taxi. Double-cheeked up on a Tuesday. <laughs> Now my face is going to be all red and I'll be embarrassed and I'll say, don't look at my face. Key, key, key. Well, you listen to all the sounds of my chair adjusting. <laughs> nah, we can't. At least I can't hear it. Stream can, dude. This mic's so sensitive on stream. Just turn uh, the gain down, brother. <sighs> I should, but I've had it up this whole time. Beautiful. Mostly you get Tim up. Because he said chat wasn't saying anything. Nah, just that one guy in chat. No, just that guy. He's in chat. But he's not what saying up anything. One? What, what up, up two? two? What up, three? What <laughs> up, five, four? <laughs> um, looks like a fun guy. We should invite him to Rocket League sometime. Yeah. Who's that guy we were going to have on the Tim and Tex talk show? Like Buffalo, oh, the one Buffalo guy? Warrior or something? Ah, he's the guy that uh, loved that I was Pickle Scarab. Yeah. Well, what was his name? I don't know. I sent you a screenshot of it. I think I saved the game as well, so we should be good. It, it was like Butthole Hero or something. Oh, it was. It was, uh, it was like Type Butthole Boy, I think. Yeah, I think it was Type Butthole Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go through our DMs and see yeah, if I can. I can't it. because Discord is being nah, screen no, captured right now. Yeah. Don't you worry. It's going to be far back, though. Oh, here we go. Uh. It shouldn't be too far back. We don't talk that much. Timmy's Jesus Scarab Gang. 
Uh, no, it must be before that. Hmm. We don't talk too much. We talk a lot. I know. I'm kidding. I kid, I kid, I kid. Talk to you more than pretty much anybody else. I mean, yeah. Who else are you going to talk to? Your mama's house. You and me, baby, ain't mm, nothing maybe I didn't, man, no, yeah, so I didn't say do it. it like they do I'll just have to try to go find the game on uh, Rocket League. Yeah. <sighs> so I'm supposed to come up with this list of uh, things to put on drunk Jenga that aren't, like, awkward, you know? For what? Uh, to prove a point. <laughs> to prove I that I can do it. <laughs> Who is this against? Uh, it's for Hannah and her friends. Okay. So what I have so far, and I think some of these are pretty good. Um, upside down shot. It's like you know how you like drink water upside down when you have the hiccups or whatever. No. Okay. I don't know if I can demonstrate it very well, but here we go. So it's like you like this, and you like drink like this. That makes sense. <laughs> that seems awful. Yeah, but it's funny. Okay. Cause it's, uh, <laughs> I don't Are you know, trying man. to come up with like new ones? I'm trying to come up with creative ones. Oh, I was like, you can just look up drunk Jenga. And yeah, but those like are all them. like Go kiss the person you like the most. Oh, no, they're not. They're like, they're like ladies' drink or they're like oldest person drinks. Yeah, but those are boring. Like... All right, well, I've got. Uh, it is when you pick a tile and then you have to do what it says. Yes, they're just it's just like... Jenga, but there's written drinking things yes um so there's one called arm wrestle one and then there's arm wrestle two and whoever pulls one and then two they arm wrestle each other oh i thought arm wrestle one was like you arm wrestle one person and arm wrestle two, you <laughs> you arm wrestle wrestle two, two people. people no 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 so like if i pull arm wrestle one i like hold on to it it's like uh it's like getting the car in wheel of fortune the half car oh uh, yeah what if you never find arm wrestle two uh then you just hold on to it all right not everything gets uh, played. Uh, everyone drink. One word charades. Group selfie and post it to a social media. Um, water shot. Balance yeah. as many things in one hand as you can. Tell a joke. Name five state capitals. Uh, free parking. Nose goes. Flip a coin. Heads drink. Tails give a drink. I like uh, categories a lot. What's categories? It's like uh, somebody picks like colors, and then you go around the circle and you say like red, blue, green, brown, and if you like hesitate or repeat a word, then you have to drink. Okay. Name five state capitals. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I said that right. Uh, Juno. Uh, Tallahassee. Uh, Santa Fe. Juno, Alaska. Uh, New York. Yeah, Juno, Alaska. Uh, <laughs> Detroit? Uh Tim, Detroit is not the capital. <laughs> uh Flint. <laughs> Bruh. Really? What's our capital then? Saskatchewan. It's not. The capital of the UP. Yeah. What's the capital of Michigan? Yeah. It went got real quiet in here, didn't it? <laughs> Boy's been real quiet since state capitals were asked. Yeah, what is it, Texas? What's, what's the it's Lansing. What's, what's the capital of Michigan, Texas? Lansing. Uh, what's the capital of Michigan? Lansing. It's no, Lansing. That's Lansing, Missouri. Have you been to Lansing? Huh? Have you been to Lansing? Yeah, it's where state's at. East Lansing. Yeah, it's, but still. I've been to the Capitol building. Texas, I've been to Lansing with you while I held a Nintendo Switch while you and our other passengers <laughs> played uh, Smash Bros. Yes. In the car, yeah, you're driving like this, like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, like a good friend. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have it in front of my face though. I had yeah, so I was just trying to get it on camera, but I was like, dumb, you know. You know yeah. how I be sometimes. You know how I be. Yeah, I went to the state capitol building on a elementary school trip. We did a lot of elementary school trips. Yeah, like more than i feel like we should have although Did maybe maybe some more boy scout trips we went to the state capitol we went to the wastewater treatment facility we went to a dye factory i think the wastewater treatment was my favorite because there were catfish 
in the in the like that like worked there yeah and i thought that was so funny because <laughs> i also didn't know what a catfish was or looked like so did you just think it was uh so seven-year-old text you think chris hansen was gonna show up and uh ask <laughs> the fish why they were talking to women yeah he's gonna he's gonna pull the purpose into the water Nah, they just like swim around and eat the shit in the water that's cool i didn't know they did that yeah right that might be not that he might have been lying like the tour guy might have just been straight up lying because like that doesn't sound quite believable you know like but like you but know it does. i'm a fourth grader I mean, of course i believe like, it eat the dirt don't they like because you have to like literally shove your hand into their holes to catch them that's true yeah or maybe that was at the dam it was either at the dam or the wastewater treatment plant that there were catfish yeah what's your favorite dam related pun uh well like well damn like a dam jackie yeah. i can't control the weather <laughs> well like a well damn <laughs> like a damn <laughs> jackie like jackie from whatever clip that's from you, like friends yeah <laughs> yeah dude yeah the day I'm they wrote like the damn tourists <laughs> the day they wrote damn field trip on the whiteboard in the fifth grade room was the best day of fifth grade <laughs> especially Were you ready for the damn field trip <sighs> except it's spelled differently and we had like we had like 30 minutes of spanish before we could go because it was like mandatory or whatever because we had spanish every day Ugh, spanish immersion spanish. baby uh, mis amigos pipe up <laughs> uh <laughs> so we were just like oh we got spanish before the damn field trip i hope they have a damn gift shop <laughs> oh god the mr shadell was pissed <laughs> was he it's yeah. his fault for taking you to the dam yeah dude he looked like an angry guy but he was really nice did he show you that clip from uh the vacation movie where they go visit the hoover dam i wish yeah, this list though, Shadell's list. You know, it's kind of weird. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does it have uh, some people on it that he no longer wants to be on the earth? Uh, I don't think I was on it, so that's. Yeah, he didn't make it's Shadell's also... <laughs> list. It's also the class where I learned about scurvy. Oh yeah, is that because we did uh, too much bread? We did a Christopher food. Columbus like month, where we had. We made we say we had to save a milk carton from lunch, right? Yeah. And uh, we made it into a little uh, sailboat. Uh huh. And then we put the sailboats on the chalkboard, and if and you would do certain activities, and it like they'd give you a point, and then your ship would move up towards the new world. Yep. And we were also doing the American Revolution, and because I vividly remember like. If you made like a model of like some event in the history, you'd get like extra points. So I mm -hmm. made a Lego model of the Boston Massacre, <laughs> and it was like uh, it was on display. And what did your teacher say? You know, he was proud. He was pretty good. He was proud. Yeah, it was cool, man. Yeah, I had to. I'm, and then we also, I also made a. I was big into Legos, so we made like Lego ships, Lego everything, and like brought it into Ooh, school. Sweet. Me and my other friends that were into Legos. Yeah, the losers of fifth grade. <laughs> hey, Legos are cool. Legos are cool. First time I learned about scurvy was in a film theory episode about The Martian. Uh huh. Oh, and he was like, it was, would you have been able to survive on nothing but potatoes for that long? And he said, like, offhandedly, we already know what happens if you eat nothing but bread. You just get scurvy. True. And I was like, oh. You need that, what, vitamin C? You gotta get the vitamin C. Vitamin C. You know, if you yeah. get scurvy, your, like, scars reopen. Really? Yeah, I read that, because col the collagen... It, it, in the scars is like what's holding it together it's no longer skin that hmm. deteriorates without vitamin c so it just opens up i thought you just became like really scabby i didn't realize your scars would reopen yeah that's crazy and, and then scab over 
Gross, dude. Um, hey, teeth I don't fall have out. A lot of scars left anymore. I haven't gotten hurt in a long time. Left? What do you mean left? Scars are forever. <laughs> no, nah, but they like fade over time. Like I haven't gotten a scar in like in like such long time that like my like childhood scars are beginning to fade. Really, dude? I've had this scar on my pinky forever. I don't even know what it's from, but it's just like tiny little one yeah. on the tip of my pinky. I got this one on my hand that I've always like. I thought I knew what it was from, and then like one day I just forgot. I have kind of a cool one on my bicep. It's from a cat scratch. I got yeah. my nasty one on my leg. <laughs> Did it scar? Yeah, yes, dude. It's huge. <laughs> it's like the... a six inch scar. I only have this tiny one on my my upper arm. My weenus is gone. Stitches from my cactus. My weenus is gone. Yeah, I had one on like one of my elbows, but that one's I like think. completely gone. I used to have one like right here. Yeah, it's still like it's gone now. Yeah, it's still scarred over on the on the left weenus from my rip sticking accident. Yeah, there it is right there, little boy right there. Was it your cactus yeah. that hurt you? Alright, show us your scar on your leg. So I have to take off my pants? Uh some resulted into a cactus and the needle was too deep, so they had to like cut my arm open to get it out. And then they had to oh, stitch you back up. I don't know if I can get my pants up the side. Actually, I can, but I'm going to lose circulation in about four minutes. Well, I don't think it's going to take you four minutes to show us your scar. It's going to take me four minutes to roll up my jeans. Oh my god, dude. It's so tight. <laughs> Looks like I have rubber bands on my leg. Look at that. Dude, you see it I... Yeah. I don't see the scar. Hey, yeah, you do. That's not a scar, dude. That's your muscle. No, dude, it, it actually is, though. It's the scar. No. No, it's not. D <laughs> I can't really... Okay, let me move my mic. Take a photo and send it to me, like, in higher, like, resolution. Or in better light. No, I'm gonna sit on my desk. Like a logical person. Alright. I'm gonna somehow stand up. Dude, you are gonna break something. <sighs> in before Texas breaks his new computer. <sighs> you see it, like, this is the tail end, see? It just looks like a shadow. Well, that's because it's darker colored! Like nah. a scar! <laughs> nah. How is there one dude. shadow that moves when I move? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, you've seen the bloody pictures, so... Yeah, but they weren't bloody enough to scar. <sighs> dude, they were! He's off his desk, you're good, bird. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you're just hearing a lot of noises because my fucking... I don't want to, like, turn my mic down because it'll just be inconsistent in the episode. So yeah, Damn. not gonna do it. Oh man, dude, now my leg feels all weird. Like I just took a sock off, but the sock was a thigh high sock. Like that time you made me wear those thigh highs, Timmy. Yeah, it when we cuddled together. Mm -hmm. All right. Put a leash Catch on you. me. Paraded me around your apartment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, Taxi, wrap us up with another hypothetical. Another hypothetical? Okay. Um, dude, my brain only thinks of would you rathers for some reason. Fine. Wrap us, then you wrap us up. I'm the would you rather guy. You're rather. the hypothetical guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Wrap us up All right. Would you rather. Band and reported for naked thigh. Yeah, but it wasn't. I mean, I much. did a would you rather today instead of a hypothetical. Did you? Yeah, I did. Would you rather have thighs that could crush a watermelon or biceps that could flex and crush an egg? Oh, okay um okay well then i'll hit a hypothetical okay if you had thighs that could crush a watermelon how often would yeah. you do it definitely like i would probably bring watermelons to parties <laughs> yeah like well like not so much anymore but like if i was in college I, that would be my party trick for sure i'd be like you guys know i can crush a watermelon with my thighs and then like i guarantee people would be like really and then i'd be like yeah i got a watermelon right here <laughs> don't pull it out of your backpack you carry around <laughs> Not well. I mean, I did bring a backpack to parties to like bring alcohol, but like uh, yeah, but, like that you I keep on just, and it's watermelon shaped. I, no, I would literally I'd walk into a, a party and I'd probably just like carry a watermelon in with me, and then people would be like, "What the fuck is that for?" And I'd be like, "Ah, oh, it's for the party trick." And they'd be like, "What's your party trick?" I'm like, "I can crush this between <laughs> my thighs," and they'd be like, "Really?" I'd be like, "Yeah." I would. I feel like if I were to bring a watermelon to a party, I would just carry it under my arm, and then at some point I would just be like, "Hey, everybody," and then just crush it and then leave the party stand on a, stand then, on a folding table <laughs> yep crush and it and then elbow so drop the problem. table knock myself out 
yeah, that would be the life. Crush mm -hmm. it and then leave. So it's not your problem. Yes. And you'd okay. get invited to every party once because they'd be like, I don't want him like, to come and leave watermelon. Dude, he actually broke everywhere. my coffee table and left watermelon all over my carpet. My cats got sick. <laughs> okay, follow up. If you yeah. could break an egg with your bicep, how often would you do that? Way less often. It's gross. Because just like Bird said, that sounds really sticky. No. Egg, like, <laughs> when you... I did this one time. Because, like, you know, like, the myth where, like, you can't, like, crush an egg with your hands. You did it at my house. Yeah, but, like, I didn't break the egg at your house. You did? Who broke the egg? Was it, it my sister no or was it you? No egg broke at your house. At Either you or my sister broke an egg. It's definitely your sister then, because it was not when I was there. Okay, but she, she says it was you. No, that's untrue. <laughs> <laughs> we, you, we need to talk to her, because that's just, I was just not there for that. You were. I, you, I swear, you were over, and I brought up the myth, and you were trying it, and then my sis I would try to get my sister to do it, and then she just, I think she broke it. Yes, 100%, because you brought it up, and I said, no, that's not true, because I've done it. Because um, I, there have been, like, two myths that I heard. One, which I still believe to this day, if you put an egg, like, between your palms like this, and you squeeze inwards, like, when the egg is at its, like, ovular shape, you can't break it, right? Okay. Did you break the it? The second one is you can't, like, if you put it, like, firmly in your palm and squeeze, you can't break it. Mm -hmm. But that one's a lot easier, like... Well, if you, if you, like, push with one finger, it'll break. Yeah, if you, like, apply pressure. So, I could, I was doing that at my ex-girlfriend's house, and I just, like, I squeezed it too hard, and, like, I got, like, a nail in there or something, and it shattered. And it exploded everywhere. <laughs> And so, and then her dad know. walked in, and you had to explain that I swear it's an egg. I know <laughs> pants I know. were still down, but but I would never do it because like it would just be like it egg just gets everywhere, and it having is, like yeah. egg on me before, I don't like to clean it. It gets hard and crusty and sticky. It's not fun. How many eggs would you suck down a funnel raw? Uh, Jamie, like, pull up the clip. No more for the rest of my life. <laughs> Jamie, pull up the clip. <laughs> Jamie, pull that clip up. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> Albert, okay. thanks for coming to the Tim and Tex talk show. Yeah. Hopefully, if you're watching this on YouTube, you enjoyed our talk. Yeah, Storm Unity, uh, hope to see you around. Uh, <laughs> yep. We'll be stocking your channel a little bit more. Hope to see you inactive in our chat every day of the week now. Uh, <laughs> and later tonight when we play CSGO, inevitably. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tim's like, yeah, no. Are we playing CSGO tonight? We can. I'll uh, I got to. I still got tequila. Like dinner. Like I actually cooked dinner. I mean, yeah, I've not eaten since like one. And by not, one, I mean 12. Not drunk CSGO because I got to. Oh, I was going to tell you this. Uh, was not able to get a cake. Dumbass. I called Meyer today. Dude. And I was like, can I get a cake for tomorrow morning? And they're like, probably not tomorrow morning, but like we can get it to you by noon. And I was like, that doesn't work. And so I just didn't get it from i that. told I like, you you told me to call a day early which i, I did. told you to call a day earlier no yes i said i said no, earlier no, because we were in the car and you were like make sure you do it the day before and i was like oh that like haha you're joking because like if i do it the day before i'm not gonna have time and you're like no no like just do it the day before so you'll have time and i was like okay i'll call the day before it's the day before no tim you call. wanted to do it the day off don't no. act like you were like oh <laughs> he thinks I should I do, it the, do it the day before. I was joking about that. I thought you were joking about doing it the day before, and then <laughs> you were like serious about it. So no cake, and then I was like, you know what I'll do? I'll put an order in at Krispy Kreme, and I'll get colored donuts. Nice, you know, what Krispy nice. Kreme doesn't have pink blue and... donuts, only pink. <laughs> well, tell me so just I got pink and yellow. <laughs> I got two dozen assorted pink and yellow donuts, <laughs> none of which are gluten free. Uh, so I'm just gonna show up and be like, Emily, I know I said I get a cake. I got donuts instead. <laughs> which why is did, like, why didn't you just go pick up a cake with me? Too far. But anyways, <laughs> I got donuts to pick up tomorrow at ten. Don't let me forget. Oh jeez, dude, I'm not gonna be up at ten. I, I know you won't. Just, dude, go. Your mom, your mom literally did not. Schedule, like a regular, uh, like, adult male. Your mom did not believe me when I told her that you didn't tell me the gender. Did she ask? She was like, are you lying? This is why. It's like, I you didn't can tell me. me if you're lying. Because like, I knew she'd try to get it out of you. I did it. I, li <laughs> I mean, I couldn't. I know. Because I didn't. But know. I also she wouldn't. Was like, she's like, what color should I wear? And I'm like, mom, shut up. <laughs> she told me that. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, no. She's like, I tried to get it out of him. And I was like, go home, Nancy. You're drunk. <laughs> go home. You're drunk, drunk at work. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> the jello shots? Your mom had oh. four jello shots at the work party. How could she do that? Made me take two. She four made fed you him take to me. <laughs> I did take a jello shot with your mom though. Yeah. I, on inside of the Apple Spice building. She pounded the back like a champ. She kinda did. Yeah, it's my mom. Dad had to drive. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I gotta eat Texi. Yeah, me dude, I'm starving. Yeah. I'm drinking on an empty stomach. Yeah, no. Drank tequila on the way here. On the way home from work. Yeah, I didn't know the topic? The There's never a topic. <laughs> topic is tim and tex yeah the topic is hey tim dude i our new co-worker's wacky let me tell you about him on the talk show is the message i sent tim earlier today that's true <laughs> because i was astounded that this man <laughs> misheard avocado twice i don't think he misheard it dude <laughs> i don't think he misheard it mm. I don't, just you should have just like walked over there grabbed an avocado and be like no i said avocado so at least he could have like known what an avocado is but yeah. now he'll never know dude i don't know man the man handed me a single red pepper <laughs> and then a single apple slice i didn't even know we had apples sliced already it was oh. like old i was like dude what <laughs> i mean at least apple av avocado same letter yeah like comment subscribe follow us on twitch go fuck yourself